Many years ago, the highlight for my mother-in-law was to check the local paper. What for, you might ask? Well, it was the hatch, match and dispatch section, according to her, better known to you and me as births, marriages and deaths. Well, over the next few weeks, I'm going to take this as my theme in the context of a business. Firstly, you'll get my thoughts on conception and birth. That should be interesting. Growth and taking on other people. And what happens at the demise of a business for whatever reason. But first, I want to share something with you that I hear time and time again at tax events. It's something very important to tax professionals, but I think it's something that hasn't penetrated the psyche of most people in business. Commerciality comes first, then tax. Get this wrong and your business will inevitably suffer. So let's start with births, or more properly, we're going to start with conception. Why do you, or did you, want to start a business? Did you have a fantastic idea? Remember that an idea is not a business. Is the business viable? What do you need to consider? And remember, it will take probably five years to get the business established and onto an even keel. Sometimes longer and sometimes shorter. How will you know if and when you have succeeded in your venture? What measure are you using? How are you going to tell whether you're sinking or swimming? Running out of cash is going to be a problem, and this might be the end of your business. But do you have any criteria for when it's time to man the lifeboats? What contingencies do you have in place just in case your brilliant idea doesn't work? So you've started and you've been moderately successful. Your business is growing. You need more resources. You need more help. Should you take in a partner, a new director? Should you be looking for an investor? What do you need to look out for? And how do you think it may make things better? Or could it make things worse? You've been trading for a little while, but at some point, either in the short or long term, you're going to leave your business behind. If it was a success, you can cash in, and we'll take you through ways to do this in a tax-efficient manner. But sometimes it's a failure. You may have no choice but to shut the doors, what can you expect in these circumstances? So the next few weeks are going to be interesting. Even if you're already in business, I think there will be something for you. You're going to get my take on the different aspects of the life cycle of business. And I hope you'll join me over the next few weeks. I'm Alan Long from The Long Partnership, making life less taxing.